just landed here in Rhode Island at Providence for uh, Comic Con, and uh, it starts tomorrow. But we just got in, and uh, we're at the airport. Never been here before, and this airport's very, very small compared to what we're used to. And in front of us, we got some really cool sailboat. Looks like some kind of like competitive sailboat. You gotta see this. Looks like some kind of like Olympic sailboat or something. Oh, that's really nice. Come on, come on. We don't see this kind of stuff in uh, Indiana. That is for sure. We but... can try sailing for two hours if we want to go sailing. <laughs> try sailing two hours. I used to sail as a kid. So now we're going to, we actually got a car to pick up because we're actually going to be up here for almost a, actually we're going to be here for a full week. I'm excited to have some seafood and see some of the, the landscape in this mm -hmm. area as well as, you know, maybe some lighthouses and some mansions. Yeah, this is and, not the Midwest. <laughs> no, it is not. And I'm really excited. driving through Warwick outside of Providence and I'm seeing right here next to me the New England Patriots team plane right there how cool is that that is awesome didn't really expect to see something like that right next to the road here outside of Providence but there it is we're at the hotel right now called Res Residence or Renicon something or other which actually is kind of cool our hotel is right here and right across the street from our hotel is the convention center for tomorrow for the Rhode Island Comic Con. It's literally right across the street. Literally just walk across the street and we're at the convention for tomorrow. So that's gonna be awesome where you can actually just go back and forth throughout the day, get stuff signed and uh, take it take back to the hotel room and drop it back off. Yeah, literally we are right across the street from the convention center. How crazy is this? So here's our hotel. Residents in this will be here for the next week. Right over there, guys. Okay. Here we are, we're at Road Island Comic Con 2019. We just got into the main area here with a lot of the celebrities to actually meet. And first thing we had to go and buy some tickets for a lot of the people here and we got that completed um, tonight we're actually going to meet uh, Freddy Krueger mr. Robert England we're going to meet John Moxley got the Moxley shirt on and we're going to meet uh, a few other people so you'll see that whenever it happens and the wife is along with us and she's actually going to meet somebody tomorrow we'll keep that a mystery though so <laughs> We're in line right now to meet Robert England, who was Freddy Krueger. Um, so I'm really excited to meet him. He's one of the legends of horror that there's ever been. So hopefully this is going to be an awesome meet and greet. So we'll be up there in just a few minutes. Just one? Yeah. They're just doing one signature. Yeah. I think I, I'm at 42? Yeah, 42 with that one. With that one? Yeah. I love Jack home and hanging out with Jack. Wes was on the set every day. If a line didn't work, he would fix it. Every show was going to be a serious show about Black Family with, with Angela Bassett. The week after that, we'd have a show about aliens, you know, and, and tabloid newspapers. The, the opening looked beautiful, you know. Uh, it was such a small show and had such great. We had um, the famous Canadian director, Cronenberg. Um, we had his cameraman. My wife and I were looking at a little cabin in Vancouver. And, uh, with a view back to the city and a bridge and a stand. And they canceled us as a sacrificial lamb to another great show no, so around Sam Waters. Do we know if they're going to be about the civil rights movement? Oh, so because it's then they canceled that show. <laughs> so they lost two really good shows. The only good that came out of Sam Waters did yeah, not on order. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, thank you. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> and we were held up as a, an example of production. Model. Yes. Mr. England, it's awesome to meet you. What's your name? Clint. Hey, Clint. No? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is this for He's Clint or could, just so. sign? Uh, if if you okay. can sign it, just like. Your name, Freddy Krueger, something like just, I mean, just vicious, you know, awesome. But yeah, I'm a huge fan. I had to ask, um, you pretty much beat Jason, correct? I mean, you smiled at, at the very end. So could you beat Michael Myers? Here's the thing. I've been, I've wanted that for years. I think Michael Myers is a decent matchup, but I also think the idea to have a big kind of Deadpool meets Guardians of the Galaxy style graphic novel of Freddy versus Jason versus Slash. Ooh. Sam Raimi was going to be, be nice. behind it. Yeah, and they were going to really camp it up and have fun. That might have been really a great thing to do, too. Ash and Freddy would be... Uh, well, you'd have to, have, be some it, comedy. have to have it funny, but you could go crazy oh, with yeah. special effects. Oh, yeah. You could get Ash in a dream, you know, Jason in a nightmare. Oh, okay. uh, you could, and Ash could go after us, you know. And I think Raimi wanted it to Ash to win. Of course, this is right after his Spider Man. He was very powerful. Right. New Line wanted to keep Freddy alive. I said, You guys, Ash can kick my ass. You resurrected me with dog urine. You can bring me back, <laughs> Freddy. And the end of Freddy versus Jason, the idea is that I've lost the battle, but I'm going to win the war. Mm -hmm. And if a big dog falls asleep now that he's met me, he can be haunted by me in his nightmares, in his dream landscape. That's awesome. sort of what that means, yeah. Thank you now, so you guys, much. Do you guys get access to Netflix? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. So, this company that makes this is called Funko. Yes. Uh -huh. They have a documentary on Netflix. So, you go to Netflix, you uh -huh. go to the menu, you go on to documentaries. It's called Making Fun. Okay. It's a rags to riches story of the guy that started the company. It's brilliant. International fans. It's all about the fans. It's his whole success story, his nervous breakdown, the new big retail experience up in the state of Washington. Check it out. Awesome. Making fun. Cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was great to meet you. Oh, no. Thank you so much. So we just met Freddy Krueger. It was an awesome signing. He is very nice, very talk of he told us about how he wishes that they did a new Freddy that was Freddy versus Michael Myers versus Jason versus Ash from the Evil Dead uh, Bruce Campbell how that would be such an awesome movie from the make with some of the comedy the horror the action would be fantastic but yeah he was awesome to, to actually meet but um, it was a once in a lifetime experience to, to actually meet him and uh, Robert England first great meeting of this con. Very happy. I honestly have problems. Oh uh, yes, awesome. Uncle Pop. Thank right, you. Take care. Great to meet you, man. Yeah, you as well. Awesome. Question for you: uh -huh. Did you get to keep a ring? Yes. You, so, like the actual the actual prop ring, or was like an extra? No prop. We had multiple prop rings, but yeah, one of the prop rings. You got to keep one. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. So, is it framed at home? It's in a box. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a box. Yeah. No, but that's cool though. But at yeah. least, at least, gotta keep that. You know, because you know, that's the whole, the whole thing's about the ring. So I was kind of curious, you know. Yeah. yeah but thank you, man. Thank you. All right. Take care. You too. There he is. Cool. Isn't it kind of funny? They take the props and they just like put it in a box. Or, <laughs> just, you know, it's not like displayed. I know. It's kind like, of if funny. If we had something like that, we would. It'd be, be like, framed. Yeah. Really, like, yeah. That was kind of, that was a good one. He was nice. He was very nice. So we just met Elijah Wood, Mr. Frodo Baggins, and he was fantastic. I got my Funko Pop Chase figure sign in that awesome, like kind of like a neon green. It really pops nicely on it. But he was super nice. 
uh, told us a little bit of a personal story about the ring, which you'll you'll see. So that was really cool. But uh, yeah, it's always kind of fun just to learn just a little bit something about the person that's a little bit personal, like what they do with props from the movies. So it's always fun. So you know what? Let's go meet somebody else. So now we're going to walk around just try to find a few people that we're looking for here. Good to meet you. I was just telling him it's so much better when you guys take them out. Good to meet you, man. Like, it's so hard to sign when they're boxed. Uh, is it okay if I just get this on just the GoPro, just yeah. like the meet and greet for just just like memories? Yeah, of course. You know, you want to sign it to anyone? Uh, nah, you just uh, yeah. If if you could put down, you're, you're killing me, small. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like the Sandlot, you know, I'm the age group that's like top five of yeah. all time, man. I mean, that's How that's. Old are you? Uh, 39. Okay. I got you by a year. Got by a year. I, mean, I, I would have killed to have been like the backup catcher. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whenever you go down or something, dude. Oh, I'm, Ham didn't I, need a backup. No, he did. But just, just in case, I mean, I'm it's kind true. of. true. We all um, need a backup. Exactly. But I mean, that's just an iconic move to be a part of, man. That's awesome. It's so yeah. awesome. Well, thank you. What's I mean, your name again? Clint. Clint. And nice I, to meet you. And then I love son-in-law too oh, of cool. course i'm that age group you know what i'm saying yeah, back when that stuff was cool yeah. so but yeah Holly. yes i met him about 15 years ago yeah he was nice too yeah, he's super dude. nice yeah, and, yeah. yeah. thank you so much man and that's yeah. awesome movie man thank, thank you. you for the movie you know what i'm saying yeah thank you thank you okay. he was nice too wasn't he nice. so this man Patrick McQuaid, him in the Sandlot, fantastic meet and greet. He was very nice, talkative, um, and uh, of course I'd let him know that the Sandlot's probably top five movie of all time. I mean, that is the honest truth, especially if you're a baseball fan. If you were born during this timeline when they actually made this, I mean, you've got to love the Sandlot. So that was a great meet and greet, and we signed it, of course. You're killing me small. That's the only thing that you, hit. you can't get signed. So, awesome. Let's go to the next celebrity. This met Benedict Wong, who actually plays Wong in the Marvel Universe. And he was ultra nice. He was talkative. He actually told us about the first time that he met Stan Lee, because he said he actually is a huge fan of just comic books, Marvel. And to actually play Wong was like a dream of his to actually be a part of something so special. And that was actually the meet and greet was very awesome. I mean, he got personal with us and it was great. That's how a meet and greet should be. So, Benedict Wong, who actually plays Wong, A plus, thank you. I wish I liked this show, but I don't. Fantastic maybe, show. Maybe you just because, need to try it again. Maybe because it hit, hit too close to home on HR issues. But now it doesn't matter, though. It's a fantastic, it's probably one of the best sitcoms that's ever been made. That's not a joke. It is a fantastic show. Uh, it's fantastic. Show. Oh. Hey. Awesome to meet you, man. What's up? How it's an you? honor. It's an oh, honor to meet you. you. The Office, of course, is like my favorite show of all time. Oh, it's everybody's awesome. favorite show, though, right? Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I would love to have it if you could sign. Sure, this. of course. And could you also sign your uh, uh, character's name? Of course. Just because <laughs> I like just to have it, like you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> um, sign it with the character's name. That's what we said, right? Yeah, and then of course your real name too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, did you get a keep a Dundee from the show, or is that props that they kept? You know, I took a lot of stuff. Um, um, the M and M jar. You kept like, the M and M jar. The name. <laughs> Uh, that nameplate that says Kevin Malone, a couple That's of awesome. other like weird balls. 
that I had on my desk. <laughs> I never had a, Dundee, a bunch of people have had Dundies, and I don't know. I guess I never I didn't think about it. So no, I don't have that, but I have a lot of. Them. I mean, that's that's well, the first one from season one is is my favorite. Okay. Episode is the first Dundies because it's it's so freaking funny. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it's hilarious. I mean, it had me rolling the whole time. Oh, so. that's awesome. So like, I still want a Dundee of my own. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Something that says like you know best fat guy in the office or something. Right. You know? something I know cool. you can get Dundies. I know you can buy Dundies <laughs> for sure now. Hey, I'm Brian. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey, how are you? Well, nice to meet you oh, guys. And she actually used to work in HR. Okay. So you, your show hit very close to home yeah. for her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I tried to watch and I'm not in HR anymore, so we're gonna try it again. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, oh, this is no, these issues are way too close to home. <laughs> well, I'll tell you the the um, we're required by NBC. Every everyone who works for NBC, you're required to do a seminar, a uh, sexual harassment seminar, <laughs> and a lot of the clips that they teach all. Our, our show was a lot of the clips about <laughs> That's true, I yeah. bet it is. Yeah. I bet it is. There were shows, I watched the first season, there were show, shows I was like, oh, I have too much anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. Too close to home. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, right on. Thank you so much, right, man. Nice to meet you guys. You. All right, right on. Thank you so much. Hey, what's up? Awesome. He was nice. So we just met Brian Baum Gardner, who plays Kevin Malone on The Office. Honestly, it's probably my favorite TV show of all time. Hilarious TV show. He was awesome to meet in person. Very talkative, friendly, told stories. He didn't get to keep a dundee, but he, he got to keep certain props from his desk from the show, which is really, really cool to keep a few things, you know? So once again, awesome meet and greet. He signed it with his name, Brian, and his character name of Kevin. So yeah. This has been a fantastic con. I've loved it. Let's keep going. Do you have your yellow sorry, pen? Sorry, he doesn't take any pictures. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, great Hello, to meet there. you. I'm a huge fan of Priceline.com. Huge, huge fan. Actually, I use it a lot. It's the truth. And I do too, actually. It's, so. uh, it's a really good thing. <laughs> yes, it is, actually. You know, if you buy an airplane ticket, it's a good way to go. Yes, you can. Especially right away. Yes. It's good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. I just met William Shatner, and I let him know that I'm a huge fan of Priceline.com. I mean, I love his work on the commercials. It's wonderful. So. I was happy to, to let him know about that because uh, I'm sure I'm the first person who's ever said that to him. But yeah, he was really nice to meet. Uh, and uh, William Shatner signed Captain Kirk Funko Pop. How cool is that? I don't know. Hey, you can hey, do for you. Hey, I'm going to meet one uh, for signature. Actually, a combo. <laughs> awesome. John Moxley. Awesome to meet you, man. Awesome. Huge fan. I've been a fan of you for a very, very long time. I want to say thank you for going to AEW. It's exciting again, you know? Wrestling's exciting, you know? It's exciting. We uh, saw you in Vegas. You walked right down us on the aisle and you almost brushed me. We all was freaking out. I was like, I was like, honey, John Moxley's here. John Moxley's here. It was so exciting. So. so, but thank you for. Make it exciting again. Thanks for watching, man. Much yeah. appreciated. Yeah. All right, man. Thank you so, so much, man. Awesome, man. So we just had a really cool meet and greet with John Moxley, a.k.a. Dean Ambrose, but now it's just John, and he was awesome to meet. I actually got a uh, picture with him so you can kind of see us posing together, but he signed my figure for me, John Moxley. And we talked for maybe 30 seconds, um, had a conversation about AEW and how much it's it's making it exciting again for wrestling. I think that we're going there, doing what he does. I told him about a memory of myself with him in Vegas, and uh, yeah, it was awesome. So John, thank you, and John Moxley.
Here we go, day number two at Rhode Island Comic Con 2019. Today is Saturday, so it's going to be an extremely busy day. There's going to be tens of thousands of people here. So on Saturdays, no matter what con it is, you've got to have a lot of patience for people because these crowds are big. So today we're going to meet a thing total of like nine people, nine celebrities, and this should be a lot of fun. But it's going to be a long day, a packed day, as you will see later throughout the day as you see these crowds. Saturdays get really bad at Comic-Con. So, but you know what? It's still fun. Let's go out there. Let's meet some celebrities. to meet you. Thank you. I met you probably 10 years ago at the Arnold Classic, like in 2010. Of course, I was much skinnier then. I got fat since then. But yeah, I met you at least 10 years ago, and you were fantastic then. You are in a TNA still, and uh, you were super nice then, so I had to meet you again, you know what I'm saying? Because 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 I had the chance to meet you, so I was like, you know what? I got to, because I mean, you're one of my favorites that I ever saw. You know I mean? I grew up. I'm 39, so... You know, you're all you're you're a part of my era of my childhood, my teenage years. You know, I love milk because of you. Well, I don't love milk, but I like beer. But you know what I'm saying. But yeah, dude, thank you so much, Kurt. Thank you so so much. Good seeing you. You too. Thank you. There's another bin on the other side. It's on that side. Steven. Hey, how are you, Dude, sir? it's awesome nice to, to meet, meet you, man. you, man. Huge fan, like everybody oh, else is, man. And I'm sorry. Oh, Clint. Clint, nice Clint. to meet and you. And I'm sorry about the whole bat to the head thing. Don't be sorry. It was cool. Right. Dude, man, it was. I mean, it's gruesome. It, it was sad. Yeah, it's it was sad. sad. Like I shed a tear. I was sad because, dude, we we all love Glenn. Thank you. He, he's a fan favorite, and I mean, he had to die because his comic face. Sure. I'm like, we yeah. got it, but. It was hard to see you go, man. Thank you. It was hard. I, I mean, you're one of like the original Walking Dead guys, and thank you. But, very much. but thank you for the TV show. The acting that you did was fantastic, man. Thank so you. nice to meet you. Yes, thank yes. You. Can I sign this? Just yes. sign it for oh, you. Oh yeah. Right and, here? Yeah, yeah. And could you put on like, Glenn too, also? You got it. Awesome. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, Great but thank you so you. much. Thanks I appreciate it, and thank sure. you for the Walking Dead, and thank you for making Glenn just. An, Dude, like an icon, man. So nice. Thank you. Thank you. So much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. So we just met Stephen Yoon from The Walking Dead. He played Glenn. It was fantastic to meet him. He was always a favorite of mine on The Walking Dead, as everybody else. He was very nice. Nice to meet. It was nice to share. Let him know what he meant for The Walking Dead. How he portrayed Glenn was just fantastic, and his death was hard on all Walking Dead fans. So yeah, Stephen Yoon. Awesome. Somebody else. I got you and Beverly. Oh no. <laughs> I got a special paint yeah, pen. I'll see you later. Yeah, okay, take care. Uh, Mr. Chase, it's awesome to meet you, man. Awesome. Love your movies. Vacation, just iconic. So thank you for the memories. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we just met Chevy Chase, an icon, a legend, one of my favorites actors of all time. I mean, from the movies from Vacation, European Vacation, Vegas Vacation, Christmas Vacation, Fletch, Caddyshack. I mean, dude's a legend. So it was really cool to actually meet him. He signed my Funko Pop for me, my Christmas Vacation, Clark Griswold Funko Pop, and it was, it was a treat to actually meet him. So it was awesome. So thank you, Chevy. Okay, you're gonna have to help me find a hot for Haley. We're on the hunt for a Christina Ritchie Funko Pop to get signed my baby girl baby girl so i brought one for myself and we didn't know that she actually would want one also so we are on the hunt for a christina richie funko pop 
And when I told her that we were coming out here, she was really sad and she said, why did I move out? You guys do all the cool stuff after I move out. <laughs> So we're going to do that for her. We're going to get some. So if we can't find a Fungal pop of Christina Ritchie, we'll just end up just getting like a photo sign or something. But that's what we're on the mission for. <laughs> oh. How could you walk past? Do you like oh, chocolate? Chocolate. I love chocolate. <laughs> How could you just walk past it and ignore it? <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Is this some? I'll take one of all. Ooh. I kind of want to buy a comic while I'm here. More comics. I'm on a hunt for several key issues. Maybe they're here for a good price. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You guys have an autograph. Oh, okay. We can skip all this line. Noise. Thank you very much. How are you guys? Oh. Are you guys getting autographs? Yes. Oh yes. No, no, I understand. Did you want it personalized or anything? Uh, uh, no, hers. No. 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 Okay. It's, it's up to you. Oh, Clint. Huh? You have the purple yep. Yeah, Here you go. go. Welcome to the Auto Trans Yes. Thank you. 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 so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we just got done meeting Christina Ritchie, and this one is actually for my daughter, Haley. She's a big fan of Christina Ritchie, and so uh, when she found out that we were coming out here to Rhode Island, she was super jealous, and so uh, for Christmas, this is one of her Christmas gifts. She knows that she's getting it, but um, we're really excited to be able to give this to her because she's a big fan. She's a collector of pops and all kinds of different um, she does Rick and Morty and anime and different things. Uh, she's a huge Sailor Moon f uh, fan, so uh, this is another one that she collects. So we're really excited to give it to her. On to the next celebrity. Awesome to meet you. Me too. Awesome. I love your character. It has such like arch to it. So much depth. To, of course, to Theon, you know, and so much to it. I really enjoyed your character. I mean, you went from like a point of being, you know, the wholesome to betraying to redemption. It was beautiful, man. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so beautiful. much. Really appreciate it. It was beautiful. Yeah, What's well, your name? Uh, Clint. Do you want me to put your name on it? Uh, if you could just sign your name and then uh, put like a Theon Greyjoy and then if you could put Reek, yeah, that'd yeah, be yeah. awesome. Because yeah. Theon. Just so I can fit it in here, do you mind if I just put Theon and then Reek? Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah, cool, perfect. Cool, oh yeah, cool. it's awesome. Because I actually like like the whole like Reek angle. I thought was it was done nicely. Well, I mean, it, it's kind of um, I guess it's a it's a it's a question of fight or flight. Yeah, and I oh, think yeah. that's what um, you know we as humans go through every single day. And whether you want to kind of liken it to anything kind of specific that's going on in your life, it makes it universal. You know, so anybody yeah. that kind of does kind of uh, relate to the, the reek part you know yeah. I kind of I champion that because that's yeah. kind of um, that's what it's there for it yeah. shouldn't be humiliating it should be something that we should all be able to own yeah, yeah. you know and, so um, true, yeah. and so it's good seeing it in action so I appreciate yeah. that thank yeah. you very much yeah. thank you yeah. um, uh, I should put the, the quote on the side we do not sew perfect oh, that's perfect awesome. that's perfect yeah we Love the show, we and did. we wish it wasn't over. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I've been saying to people that um, yeah. Succession's a good one to go on to. I think that will kind of be a good substitute because it's got um, it's got that whole kind of like familial 
drama in terms of them trying to buy for the power of the, the, the seat of the throne. Okay. In terms really? of, you should watch it. Yeah, you should watch it. Yeah. Succession. Oh, yeah, Succession. Okay. Yeah, it's very good. It's very good. It's about like you know Wall Street kind of you know yeah. chances trying to make money, but that's at the same time what Thrones is about. It's just them trying to get yeah. to the, the position of power, and that's where the position of the power, position I love of power those lies kind of nowadays, shows. isn't it? So awesome. it's great. Honestly, Succession is brilliant. Awesome. awesome. Thank you. Well, thanks. So much. Thank you. Take care. Easy. Yeah. You just got finished up with meeting Alfie. Alan, who played Theon Greyjoy on Game of Thrones. He was awesome to meet, very nice, talkative. Uh, gave us uh, inspiration for a new show to watch that he says kind of has a Game of Thrones vibe to it. And uh, he actually signed it, his name after Alan, and then Theon and Reek, because I asked if he'd sign them both, you know? And then another, we do not so. So that was a fantastic meet and greet with Theon Greyjoy. And, uh, the accent is authentic. He sounds just like the young Greyjoy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank Oh my god, I know. He's got so many. <laughs> I guess that shit's over tomorrow. Yep. Mm -hmm. I've already texted him. Yeah. 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 Hello. Awesome to meet you. <laughs> How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are this you? This is your Alfie photo selection there. <laughs> <laughs> Seven standing Hodor numbers. Hodor! That's a party party. That's a toilet awesome. beneath there. That's <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what would you like from me? Huge fan of you, man. I loved your character, Mordor. Of course, we all did, you know. He's kind of the big, lovable giant that we just want to be friends with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just want to be friends with Mordor, you know. Punch him in the face at least or something. <laughs> <you know? laughs> He's the protector, you know. How are you shopping? Yeah. This is, this is large. Yeah, it's like a fancy thing. Do you want your name in this or is it just signature? Or? Uh, just your uh, name signature and then Mordor. Oh, yeah, yeah, please, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like the color. <laughs> yeah, I figured it'd probably pop nice on it. Yeah, it's like pea green. <laughs> yeah. It is kind of pea, pea green. Pea puree. <laughs> Be your favorite, Trevor? <laughs> pea puree green. Uh, I actually really like that color. It's good in that. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> but we can think of it in that yeah. other context. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I would have gone for like baby pea. Uh, thank you yeah. so much, man. Yeah. Yeah. Four doors. <laughs> yeah. I do. I love your character. It's birthday. Mm -hmm. right? That's right. I saw it online. Oh, thank, you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. First, I had to go. I had to be like, Hodor. <laughs> no choice. So we just met Hodor, and it was freaking awesome. He was super nice. He was talking. He was funny. He was cracking jokes. He loved the, he has, he called it P Green. And uh, yeah, he was super nice. So, Christian, um, he was, he's actually a very large man too. Like on screen for the Game of Thrones. You know, he looks like he's a bigger guy, but in person, he's probably like 6'8", six, 6'9", six, probably 350. He's a, he's big, like he's, he's intimidating. And he could have held that door if he tried hard enough, I think. But anyway, whole door was fantastic to meet. So we're at the end of day number two at Rhode Island. Comic Con, we have one more meet and greet to do. We got Zach Morse from Saved by the Bell. His real name is. Don't know. I don't know either, but Zach Morse. Uh, we came earlier, he was not here, so we're coming back tonight. It's pretty late, roughly close. See if he's here. So this will be the last one, the last meet and greet of this entire con. It's been fun, it's been busy, but we got one more. Let's get this. So we got here and uh, Zach Moore, a.k.a. Mark Paul Gosseler, he is already gone for the day. So we missed him. Um, there is a day three still, but we will probably not come back for day three. Oh, 
the picture take you look at Two days of fighting the crowd and all, all the fun, it's, it kind of wears you out. And uh, the wife and I, we might just, you know, call this day number two when we are done. So, yeah, it was a pretty, pretty good con. It was fun. Uh, a lot of people. We met a total, I think, 14 celebrities. Of course, minus uh, Dave Bautista did cancel for Sunday and uh, Zach Morris we missed. But, you know, it was a good, really good con. And I always say... If you want a day where it's not very crowded, always come on Fridays and Sundays because Saturday is a crowd. But you know what? It's okay. We'll do some more cons in the future and we'll see you next time. We're out.